Hey everyone, this is Vicki from Metsy Table Studio here with a very cute little project from another YouTuber named Shannon Chop Hayes. Shannon and then Chop Hayes is all one word. C H O P H A Y S. I will give the link below. You know, that's always happening. But she had the cutest project, and I've been thinking about it for a couple weeks, and now is the time to do it. So this afternoon, I sat down and made it. And this is a mini flip flap book. This is a prototype, so don't come unglued. My edges are not straight or anything. This flip, these three flip up, flip down, and flip down. Isn't that cute? I just thought it was such a clever idea. And then you put paper on the other side, too. So I'm going to make this, but you, you can fold it like this, and then you can put a belly band on it. See if I can get it on there. The first time I did this, I couldn't get it back on there. Here we go. This is a, the, uh, the yellow is all one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock, and then the rest of it's regular scrapbook paper that I just picked out to kind of go with the yellow. I was just trying to test the idea, and I came up with an idea for mine. So, what you need is a paper cutter a scoreboard that will handle a 12 by 12 piece of paper. You need a corner chomper, either a glue stick or ATG gun or wet glue if that's all you have. Um, I think that's about it. You know, scrapbook paper. All right, so, and, oh, paper cutter. So what we're gonna do is, get the paper cutter out, take this 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, and we're gonna cut the first to ten, the first cut to ten and a fourth. And the reason I know that is because I wrote down all her measurements off her website because I'm a nincompoop and I can't remember anything. So here are all the measurements for those of you who are curious. And yes, I will put it down below. And then I will also link her so you can look at the original vi video where this idea came from. It is not my idea, of course. All right, so we're going we're gonna to cut this to ten and a fourth. So it's ten and a fourth. And this is the exact same size as the belly band on the yellow one. So save this at the end because you might want to use it for a belly band. You never know. I love belly bands. Anyway, okay. We can do away with this for the moment. And then we need the scoreboard. And all right, on the... Let's see if I can remember how to do this. It says on the ten and a fourth side, score at two and a fourth and sixth and one fourth. That's right. So we uh, so the the twelve inch sides this side, and we're going to the ten and a fourth. Okay, so this is the ten and the fourth side. So we're gonna score at two and a fourth. I did this wrong already and had to get another piece of paper because I to, forgot to turn it. Uh, uh. And sixth and a fourth. Be very careful so you don't slide out that slot. I did that earlier today and I ended up with two lines. All right, so there's the first two creases. Now you're going to take it and rotate clockwise to the 12 inch side. And if you ever have any doubt, you need to take a look at your board. Then we're going to do a lot of scoring on this side. All right, it says that the two and a fourth should be at the top of the board and the six and a fourth will be at the bottom. So this is the six and the fourth. This is two and a fourth. Then you score at three and seven eighths. Three and seven eighths. Oops, skip, jumped a little bit. Then you go to four and an eighth. This is four and a half, four and a fourth, four and one eighth. I need to slow down so I don't jump off again. Oop, almost jumped the rail again. Yee. Okay. And then the next set will be four at four. Uh, no, we'll be at eight, eight inches. I'm sorry about the shadows. The sun's already gone down. And then eight and a fourth. So 
think I might have got it right this time. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, so we get rid of the scoreboard. And now we're going to use scissors. That's the other thing I, I said you probably need. You might need a, one of these knives, and I'll show you why in a second. So, you know the little skinny part that you cut? You're going to cut out. Let me, let me go ahead and score this. Or fold it so that I don't make any mistakes. I don't want to screw this up. I'm going to run out of paper by the time I get it straight. <laughs> All right, there's that. And then you can see. Nope, maybe you can't. Oh, my shadows. Anyway, I'm going to cut this out, and you'll see it when I cut it out. You can use long scissors or short. Maybe I'll try the long this time. Even I can't see. Jeez, Louise. It's only 8 o'clock at night. And you do up to the first crease there and stop. And then you cut the other little skinny line. And you get it right up to the fold. Now, when you fold it and it doesn't look right... I mean, you go this way. You can do it. You can clip it like this with scissors, but I never seem to get it perfectly straight. Well, son of a gun, this time it actually worked. If it looks a little wonky, you can always take this and just kind of give it a little trim, which I think I might do. Because I smell. Well, not too bad. All right, so I'm going to use the smaller scissors. All right, so you just cut the second set. Right up to the line. Snippy. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do it on the short side, the two and a four side. You're going to cut down there and cut down there and then clip off the little bitty pieces like this. I'm going to fast forward through all that. Okay, so I got them all cut out, and now what you want to do, if you want rounded corners, now is the time to do it. And I don't like my corner rounders, so I'm going to cheat and use something else. Hang on a second. Ta-da! <laughs> this has a good little, it's only a very small snippet, but it works much better than the other ones that I have. So let me fast forward through this, and I'll be right back. Okay, now those are all cut. Now comes the scoring part. So you need to go through and try to kind of give these a little mash. And then the next part is going to be the little skinny strip that makes that nice little fold. All right, and it is tricky because they're very they're only a quarter inch apart, and I know it's hard to see. Even I can't see it, and I'm standing right here. Okay, there's the first one, I think. Yep, that's the first quarter inch. And then you just, the second one should go a little easier, although I say that as I'm flipping it back and forth. All right, let me do this, and then I'll be right back. Oh, my word, that took longer than I ever expected. Okay, so you have the, the flaps, the flap, 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 and flap. Now, oops. This one needs to lay down a little smoother. All right, so what you're going to notice is that one of these is a little smaller than the other, and that's because of the way the measurements go. So you're going to tuck the small one in. And look, you have that nice little flat edge here. Then the lar one of the large ones will be the outside flap. So that's what it should look like, nice and neat like that. Okay? That only took me three tries. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now comes the weird part. I found this kind of weird because I couldn't figure it out, and so I overdid it on the other one, but let me show you what I'm talking about. I wanted to do it in shades of blue and gray. So I picked out one, two, three, four different kinds of blues, but I think this one's going to go. 
So this, you have three sheets of 12 by 12 scrap of paper. What you do next is for the, this is for the pattern paper part. You need four pieces that are three and a half by three and three fourths. Don't, I mean, follow exactly what it says. I'll tell you why later. You need eight pieces that are three and three fourths by three and three fourths. That's a square, and that is going to be the pieces that are, let's see, you need how many of them? Eight. So you need one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, maybe I didn't count it right. Anyway, so you need eight of them. Six, seven, eight. And then you're going to need two pieces that are three and a half by two and four pieces that three and three fourths by two. So the one that the, the one that's two that's three and a half by two, I think it is the smaller one of these. And it she said you could measure it and you would know. Now I measured mine earlier today and I did not whoops. I did not get that same measurement. So two inches thick, and this one's three and um, three quarters. But you don't want your paper to go all the way to the end. So this might be the one that's the three and a half, and these are the three and three quarters that are by two. The two is the two inches this way, okay? All right, because this one is the smaller one. I think that's the smaller of the three. Let me measure them. This one is three and seven eighths by three and seven eighths and this is not it's a little smaller than three and seven eighths almost to three and three quarters okay so this is the small one and if you measure it you'll know which ones fit where all right so I'm gonna take these three things of paper here and I'm gonna mix and match them when I did this earlier today I ended up whipping out a fourth flavor of paper there because I, my mixing and matching didn't go so well. I didn't really get the concept of the mix and match thing. So I have some of them that are the same, but it doesn't matter because they're folded up and you can't see they're the same unless you lay it completely out flat and that defeats the purpose of what it is you made, okay? So if you accidentally get two that are the same and you're flipping it over to the other side, you're like, oh my God, they're going to show. Uh-uh. They don't show at all. All right? Cool, huh? Yeah. All right, so let's give this a try. I am going to cut all the paper, and you don't need to watch me do that. So I'm going to cut the paper, or I could fast forward through some of it, and then at the end, we'll glue them on, and I'll show you how it looks. All right, let me go cut some paper. Okay, so I got all the little pieces cut. Took a couple seconds. So let's see, what do I have here? These are four pieces that are three and a half by three and a half by three and three fourths. There are eight pieces that are three fourths by three fourths, which are, you know, just a square. Then there are one, two, three, four pieces. Well, let's go this one first because it's on top of the list. Two pieces that are three and a half by two. Then there are four pieces that are three fourths by two inch. You're going to need your little rounder to do these. Some of them are going to be rounded, and I can't tell you which ones till I go put it together. All right, let's see if we can do this. I don't know. I'm a little nervous.
Okay. I flipped my board to the other side because it was just too glued up and I'm gonna have to clean it up later. And look. <coughs> All right, so I'm gonna flip these up. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. And I think I'm gonna do this one in the middle. And then this one here, because that should be it. Look, look at that. Oh, I got something right. <laughs> Please don't faint. Okay. <laughs> let's um let's try to work smarter, not messier. And I got a new glue stick. Look how lovely that is. Oh my goodness. And there's a glue sheet. Ta -da! See old people do learn new tricks. Sometimes. All right, there's this one. Bada bing. Whoops. Make sure that bing's glued down. I don't think that bing got it. You got it now? Okay. Now I'll do it this way. Whoop. On the paper, Vicky. Good grief, woman. Up, 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 up. Oh, that's really big. That's the really small one, isn't it? Oh, let's put it over here then. Nope, doesn't matter. They're all really big. So I must have made a miscalculation somewhere. I don't really care now. <laughs> oh, it's done. Where's the rest of my paper? Oh, please. Oh, here they are. Well, I thought this fit here. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so let's put this on here. doesn't fit. Okay, so let's take this off. Does this one fit? No. I hate doing a project. Does it come out? Well, yeah, I hope it will. Well, let's give it a little quick shave and a quick repunch. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> oh, imagine that. Oh, look, dear, it fits. Well, not by much, but it's good enough for government work. Let's, let's see, is this the sticky side? Which side's the sticky side? Well, not a bit sticky. Okay. Let's go this way. Get this glued on. my word. <laughs> I finally got them all glued on. I didn't figure out this stuff very well, but what I did do very well was this. Before I did this, I have two thinlets that look like Polaroid, you know, the frames for Polaroids. So I cut them out with gray cardstock. Just your basic eight and a half by eleven. This is the inside from that. Then I took pictures of my little grandson and I put them, glued them on the backs of all of these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue these inside each one of these and give it to my grand my my granddaughter, give it to my daughter-in-law for Mother's Day. I thought that would be a nice gift, a little quick gift for her. Um, I just thought it was a clever little idea to put his little picture on all of these, like this. I think this one's going to be the one on the front. This is, these are pictures that I've had for ages and never done anything with. And I might put a little embellishment or something else on them. But I just thought that well, he's got the same shirt on. I just thought this was a, a, a little gift that, you know, might make her happy. And I'm going to mail this off for Mother's Day for her. And hopefully that will make her day. So 
I'm going to just glue my little grandson on, and then I'll be back as soon as I glue all the pictures on. Okay, so I finally got it all finished. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Here it is. There's the front. And if you do a picture on every one of the large spaces, you'll need 13, not 12. And I ended up having 14, so I have one extra, and I might just put this in my wallet. So here it is. You open it up. I did put pictures here, and all the places I could put pictures, I put them. I didn't put anything on these. I just left those alone. I might embellish it a little bit more. There he is. And then there he is on this side, the back side, and there's the front. So I thought this would make a, a lovely gift for my daughter-in-law for Mother's Day. And I'm praying she really does not watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> I might have to come up with something else. Oh, no. Anyway, it's kind of fat, so you might have to put it in a, um, a, a mailing envelope. You can't put this in a regular envelope because, see, it's, you know, it's rather chunky. And I don't think the belly band's going to, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to put a belly band on it. I don't want to cover up this cute little face. I could do that and then slip this on it. Yeah, that's going in my wallet. Okay, so we're done. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me put this here one more time. Here are the measurements and the directions. And if you can't remember anything, they'll be in the description box below, along with a link to Shannon Chop Hayes' um, original video that I watched where I got this idea from. And she also has the measurements in the description box box below on her video because that's where I copied this from. All right, everybody, I hope you will use this idea to give a lovely gift to somebody in the future, like Mother's Day, or, you know, you could do this even for Father's Day. You know how guys are. Um, so maybe this would make a, grand, a lovely grandfather gift, you know, for somebody to sit on their desk at work sort of thing. Okay, I think that's it for me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.